Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing series, I am Aditya. In this video, we are going to see concept of routing. So we'll, in the previous video, already saw this, but we will see those in depth. And also, we will see how can we create layouts. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so far so we have our two pages about and home page. But what if we want to have navigation between them? Like we want to go from about to home page or something like that. Let's say we have something like a nav bar. So how can we achieve navigation in Nuxt tab? So there you could see we can add component and then layouts composable and many things. So let's add a component. So we could do component and then let's try to have a component, let's say header. Now if we hit enter, you will see it created a new component over here, header.view. Now let's try to add some navigation links here. So also let's run this back again, npm run dev. Now to have navigation in Nuxt, we can use a special Nuxt component, which is Nuxt link. So let me tell you what that is. So here let's create Nuxt or let's add that component Nuxt link. And then here we just need to say home, and then we can have one for about as well over here. About. Now, what does this do? Well, as you know, like Nuxt use view router behind the scenes. So if we want to have or utilize Nuxt router, which is again view router, we can use this special component. Like in normal view app, we have router link. Here we have Nuxt link. So what we will do here is, let's say if I want to go to home page, then here I'm going to specify the two prop for this, which is going to be the forward slash or the root route. Then it knows that it has to go for index.view. And here I'm going to say to about like this. Now we have our navigation links ready. Now we can bring this header or this, uh, our navbar, <laughs> you could call it, let's call it as a header. We can bring this inside our scripts Oh, sorry, inside our component, like over index dot, inside index dot view, also in, so inside our bound dot view. But we are actually repetitively writing that component, like bringing it over here. But what if we have a layout which has that proper structure of, let's say, navbar, and then we can just render the page content, in this case, about dot view or index dot view. So for that, we need to create another folder. And again, naming matters here. So we will call this layouts. And inside this layouts folder, we can create a custom layout. If we want a default layout, then we have to name it as a default dot view. But if you want a custom layout, let's say guest layout, then we will call it guest dot view or the name of that layout then dot view. It's again a view component. So guest layout dot view. Now, purposely, I'm going to put it in a small letter. Guest layout dot view. Now, next thing we need to do is let's create the layout. And our layout will have, okay, let's remove all this from here. So it will have header that will come from the components and it will have the slot component to render our page content. Now, what we are going to do is we will take this guest layout inside our app.view and how we can have it here. We are going to say or introduce another uh, special component, which is going to be next layout. And then we will wrap our Nuxt page with this Nuxt layout. So in general, we will be just putting this Nuxt page inside our Nuxt layout. There we go. Now, if we go back over here again, refresh this page, you will see our dash, our navbar is not there. The reason being we have wrapped it inside Nuxt layout and also we are using a custom layout. So we need to give or tell Nuxt what layout we are using because it is going to look for default dot view, which is not present over here. So in this case, we are going to call it name and the name for our layout is guest layout. And now if we go back and you will see our navbar is there. So if you go to about home and everything works fine, that's perfect. So we just need to use in this case Nuxt Lake component to achieve navigation in our project or in our app. But what if we want to have navigation through, let's say, a button click or certain, let's say, after an API call? For instance, most probably you will encounter like on login page or a register page. Once user register, you want to navigate that user either to dashboard or some other page for some extra steps. So how can we have that navigation through JavaScript rather than this clickable 
elements. Before we go that, let's see what this Nux link renders. If we inspect this quickly, uh, it just renders an anchor tag and with a special classes like router link active, router link uh, exact active, etc. Now let's try to have this navigation through JavaScript. So here let's create a script. Let's make it as a setup script. Now what we are going to do is on this home page, let's assume that we have an API call made or someone did an API call. Let's say they registered a login, whatever, and then we want to take them to about page. So let's write that logic over here. So let's say everything worked fine. So we can use our set timeout uh, function so that uh, here we could say set timeout, then a callback. And then here uh, we have some let's say five thousand oh we are putting it inside this let's put it outside actually there we go yeah now here what how we can we take it to about well nux3 comes with a special function which is navigate to and if you notice guys i'm not importing this function from anywhere of course because all of this is auto imported so here i could say navigate to and after five seconds go to about page or forward slash about so let's go back over here and let's go to home page so here five four, oh this already there okay let's refresh this let's go to home page five four three two one go to about there we go so we can also have certain extra configurations or parameters to this like in this case if you want to say let's say replace this route so you can say replace this with home route so if we go back to home page now, ideally, when we go to about page from here and when we pick, press the back button, we should be taken to this home route. But if we go press back button, it just doesn't take us to anywhere because we have replaced that route and then it takes to home route. So it replaces the previous route and then it takes us to the route before that. So we can use replace option over here just to replace our current route, which is this home route. So uh, this is to navigate through or like through JavaScript and now let's dive into dynamic routes so let's create here another folder let's say dashboard and inside this dashboard let's create or let's do something like this let's create here about uh, sorry this one as rename it as about oh, uh, sorry for that about and inside this about let's make index.view and let's bring this thing from here to here and let's remove this about dot view there we go and if we just see our about page yeah everything works fine that's great now let's go back over here and create a dynamic page which means like let's say we go to about we see this index dot view but let's say we want to visit about forward slash let's say aditya then about me so about Aditya, if we say about Adi, then about Adi. So let's try to do something like that. So for that here, we can have that with something like square bracket and then the parameter that we want to use, like a dynamic para route parameter that we want to use or URL parameter and dot view. And then we can have our uh, component over here and let's name this. This is dynamic. Now if we go back over here, Let's say we type here Aditya. Now you will, oh, I just need to uh, quickly rerun this. Now, if you notice, it says this is dynamic. But what if like we want to get this URL parameter over here? We want to display that name over here. So what we are going to do is let's modify it differently. And let's say this is all about and we can put the name over here. So to get that name, we can use use route composable that comes with nux3 so here what we need to do is we need to do something like const route equal to use route again this is going to be auto imported so we don't have to import it and here we could say route dot params so for parameters and here we are asking for name because remember we have put square bracket name so we need to look for name over here so let's go back over here and you'll see this is all about Aditya. If I put it Adi, let's see what happens. Then I go, this is all about Adi. Let's try some other name, uh, John Doe. 
and you will notice like this is all about John Doe. So this is how we can have dynamic routes and also uh, pass route parameters through this uh, URL. So that's all in this video. In the next video, we will see concept of certain meta tags or certain Nuxt tags that are useful to make our uh, Nuxt website SEO friendly. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.